Can we just take a moment seriously to just appreciate sometimes how cool wrestling can be when The Rock made a surprise appearance tonight on Monday Night Raw, which maybe spoilers existed for. I personally didn't see any. I personally popped for this because this was out of nowhere. The Rock interrupted Cody Rhodes to kick off Raw. And this segment was absolutely beautiful. It was all it needed to be. With his hands behind his back, The Rock leant in and just whispered something to Cody. As I'm very sure you did too, like me, most of the internet went crazy trying to work out what The Rock said. Cody's facial expressions really didn't give anything away as to what this was. The Rock would tell Jackie Redmond to go and ask Cody what it was that he said to him. And that's exactly what Jackie Redmond went and done later on the night. And all Cody said was that it was a promise that The Rock couldn't keep. Now, is that a promise that he's going to erase Cody Rhodes from the WWE? Is that a promise that he's going to turn on Roman Reigns and help Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania? Is that a promise that another member of the bloodline is going to debut and screw Cody Rhodes? We have no idea. And I'll tell you what, I know for a fact it's driving a lot of people insane. The Rock would simply exit the ring after whispering to Cody again. Didn't give a damn, just left. Cody, he would talk about the fact this was his final crack at the tribal chief, obviously referencing that he may not get another shot at Roman if he loses this match at WrestleMania 40. Cody would ask all the fans in attendance to point with him to the WrestleMania sign, and clear as day, Cody Rhodes would do a Bullet Club reference. Once again, is there going to be a Bullet Club kind of integration into the main event at WrestleMania? Bullet Club versus Bloodline? That would be a dramatic twist. Jey Uso would win the main event tonight versus Nakamura. The brawl was on with the Bloodline, Cody and Seth. No, Drew McIntyre would take out Seth Rollins. Interesting. And of course, backstage, The Rock would attack Cody Rhodes. Oh my God, he brutalized him right outside of the arena. Look at the state of Cody after this. The Rock talking trash non-stop, destroying Cody Rhodes. By the way, YouTube, yeah, he totally threw ketchup over him, okay? This is Things You Might Have Missed from WWE Raw, a stacked Raw. Like the video, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. Next week, Bray Wyatt's Becoming Immortal documentary will hit Peacock. And of course, yes, the theme song, the Firefly tribute, was in full force tonight on Raw. I'll never get bored of seeing this man, ever. Raw tonight was the 11th consecutive sellout for WWE television shows. That's insane. I'm sure 15,000 people were there for CM Punk. CM Punk returned to Monday Night Raw tonight, confirming he will be at WrestleMania. Now, he said it himself. His mouth was working. It definitely was. He called out Drew McIntyre, who come out wearing his Savior WrestleMania t-shirt, noting the injured CM Punk on the back, ripped that off, revealing the tombstone meme of course, CM Punk's WrestleMania main event. Doing the cross legs on the announce table in front of Punk was wild. He, Drew would then call himself the chosen one. In what was probably the funniest moment of the night, CM Punk would say, Who chose you? Tell us his name. What paragon of good virtue chose you? Drew McIntyre was so close to cracking. You can see it in his face. Obviously, CM Punk there throwing shade at Vince McMahon, which is wild that WWE did that. We then got the face-to-face -face between Seth and CM Punk. Now, this is wild because this was rumoured to be the WrestleMania World Heavyweight title match before CM Punk's injury. They was trying to work out what role CM Punk would have. Crowd didn't really want Punk to be a commentator. They wanted Punk to be a referee. Punk made it very clear he could count with his left arm but they obviously pivoted the segment away from what the fans wanted, and it was revealed that CM Punk will join commentary for the Drew vs. Seth match. Drew got irate at Punk possibly having the last word. Seth would lay out Drew, and then CM Punk would be the one who just stood there and watching Seth Rollins walk away. Moments later, we'd see Drew talking with Paul Heyman in the background of this shot. What are they talking about? Are we going to see the bloodline and Drew McIntyre work together? That can't be good for Seth. 
The first match tonight actually saw Ricochet versus JD McDonough. I saw a lot of people on the internet shitting on this prior to it. I hope they ate their words because, my God, it was great. It was a standing shooting star press from the top rope that would allow Ricochet to pick up the win and continue the moniker highlight of the night. It was a really good match. There was a random promo video in the middle of the show tonight which revealed Meek Mill will be at WrestleMania. He is a rapper. We don't know why he'll be at Mania, whether he's doing a performance, potentially hosting Mania. We'll find out. Candice LeRae would fake a leg injury in her match tonight with Ivy Nile. Important to note, she kept throwing Ivy out of the ring in front of Indy Hartwell. Indy didn't touch Ivy once. Candice would again cheat to win. And then the reaction of Indy Hartwell was priceless. Indy didn't want to know. Indy was very torn on this. I wonder if the story they're telling is that Indy cannot be a heel. It's not within her nature to be a heel and that she's going to be a good person. If that makes sense? Andrade would defeat Giovanni Vinci tonight. Obviously, it wasn't his original scheduled opponent. The original scheduled opponent was Ivar. This match got changed earlier on on social media with WWE announcing that Ivar wasn't medically cleared for this match. So all thoughts and prayers to Ivar. Hope he's okay. Andrade's finishing move looked really cool, to be fair. Um, they called it The Message, which didn't see that one coming, but it's called The Message. After Rhea Ripley had a very cheeky weekend obviously delivering stink faces to Nia Jax and going viral on social media it was brought up tonight many times on commentary and in the promo obviously she demanded the attention of Becky Lynch who obliged I find it very interesting that Becky brought up the fact that Rhea right now is the chosen one on the same night that Drew once again referenced himself as the chosen one Drew being Seth's opponent at Wrestlemania and of course, CM Punk bringing up Seth's wife in terms of Seth's relevancy earlier on the night. But Rhea would get very personal, bringing up Becky's daughter, adding a whole new layer of personal to their WrestleMania match. It would be Dom standing up to Becky, though, before she knocked him on his ass with one punch before the brawl between Becky and Rhea would start. And this was a decent brawl, man. Once again, Becky attacking Dom in the aisle way. Am I the only one hoping that WWE gives us Dom versus Becky next week on Raw? That would be class, wouldn't it? I love that. Just like I love this brawl. I think this was great. It added that new layer to the feud just two weeks before Mania. Good. There was some slight concern, though, on social media. As you can see, Rhea Ripley is wearing a brace on her arm, mainly around the wrist area. Hopefully, she's okay. She has been actively wrestling, so hopefully it's just one of those, like, nagging injuries and nothing serious, but she's definitely wearing a brace. To the amusement of the Intercontinental Champion Gunther, who come out to watch, Sami Zayn lost to Bronson Reed tonight. I think this was a good move. Sami Zayn's focus was thrown in the match. It's all about attention and the fact he took his attention off the prize of the win of Bronson Reed. Instead, he paid attention to Gunther. Therefore, he lost the match. It certainly helps out Bronson Reed right now to get this win, but it now leaves Sami Zayn to focus. Can Sami focus on Gunther and solely Gunther for WrestleMania to have a chance to beat him? We then see Chad Gable talking to Sami Zayn, offering advice ahead of WrestleMania. Looks like Chad may coach Sami Zayn. Got to note in the background, Andrade talking to Dirty Dom. We're continuing this, obviously, subtly tonight, but it's there. What a show. Honestly, everything you look for in a show was tonight. You had surprises, you had good in-ring action, good promos, good setup for Mania. 10 out of 10 for me. Like the video if you are new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Never miss another upload. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Peace!